Hello everybody, this is Horror Production. Hello everybody, this is Horror Production, and today, oh, we're in the Doctor Who review. And today, we're doing one of the most boring episodes Steven Moffat has ever pulled out of season 5. Because literally, Billy's Beast Below does barely anything for the series at all. It's basically like one of those. See, like. What I'm saying to say is this episode really doesn't matter. But Beast Below uh, features the Doctor and Amy traveling for the first time together. And, um. They're re re they realize to find a place called our Starship UK, um, and we have meet these a uh, really weird kind of puppets thing. They're really creepy. But anyway, um, it's called Beast Below, so there has to be a Beast Below. So there is a Beast Below, and. Um, every time you're bad, those puppets will drag you down to the beast below. Um, there's this moment where the doctor and Amy end up at the tongue of the beast, and it's quite, it's quite disgusting and quite extraordinary. Like, a whole beast holding up a place in the middle of the universe. Quite extraordinary, I guess. It's, uh,. If we had that today, which we probably wouldn't, because that'll be crazy and futuristic, or very futuristic. But anyway, that's a really good setup place for the story. And well, we uh, realize that the that people die because of the beast, and they get eaten just because they, if they don't do what's told by the puppets. And that's a problem, and the doctor realizes that everybody's gonna die by the beast, and he can't do anything about it. Which, to be honest, that's pretty sad, because we are on the second episode, and now right away the doctor cannot save everybody. Until he figures out that he can. And there he lives. I guess. And, um. Well. Yeah, it's basically that. The doctors journeyed from uh, a beast and realized that people die and they're all gonna die. And he saves them all. Uh, uh, and we also get a bizarre moment where, like, like if you press a button, then it'll take you all the way down to the beast. And yeah. Oh, really? I have to realize that Matt Smith and uh, when he presses the button and like they fall down to the beast is kind of. Quite a funny moment for just about five seconds. Just want to put that out in the review. Um, this review is quite short, but if I had to say that the episode is not that interesting, it really isn't. The next episode, well, that one is quite complicated, but that one is probably more talking about uh well yeah I basically described the entire plot for all of you guys so what I think we have this woman who has a mask shoots people and has a cool guns I don't know what her name is I don't know there's so many forgettable characters in Doctor Who and this must be one of them we have a bunch of people with cloaks and stuff I really can't remember everybody's name from this episode. I'm sorry, but that's how I feel about the episode. I just forget. So, anyway, um, so I have to give it a rating, like usual. And, what a nice rating, like giving it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10, because it's so forgotten, it's one of the most forgotten episodes, like 42. It's so forgotten, like, so forgotten. Like, you forget on the split of after watching the episode, if you're doing a marathon, you, you will forget it. If you, like, because it really doesn't do anything for the series or for the season in general. And that's why it's so forgetful. And, yeah, that's sad. This episode is not that good.
the next episode, we'll make it a big deal. For sure. We'll make it a big deal the next episode. So, for anyway, guys, see you guys later. This is Homer Productions, and that's my Beast Below review. Bye.